The office sector is decimated. No one should be investing in office right now. In this video, I'm gonna share the best and safest sector to be investing in 2024 and beyond. Hi guys, my name is Andrew Bean. I'm the host of the Commercial Property Show, founder of CP Data, founder of Cashflow for Life Property Meetup Group. I'm also the head of client strategy for Polisi Property. And today I'm gonna to be sharing the very best sector right now in commercial real estate. So right now, the fundamentals for this sector have actually never ever been better in Australia and some places worldwide. So the sector that I'm talking about is none other than industrial property. So right now, industrial property is by far the absolute best sector to be investing in because of the market conditions and fundamentals of that sector and the industry conditions that are really giving it a really good tailwind. So the reason why industrial is doing so well right now, and it has been for quite a while now, COVID really like ramped it up. So a lot of these things are already happening, but COVID just 10X still made it like 10 times quicker because of all the things that happened with the shutdown, buying online, e-commerce went crazy, you know, afterpay, all those things. So the reason why industrial property is going through the roof right now and still like even though interest rates are going up, commercial property, some sectors are down, particularly like office. Office has been very much decimated in a lot of CBDs. There's a lot of vacancy. We don't actually buy office anymore. We haven't for a long time at Polisi Property and I can't really see us buying any office uh, going forward um, unless it had some crazy value add strategy where we could convert it potentially into industrial or something crazy like that. So the reason why industrial property has the market conditions that it does is because it's a very, very versatile asset. So literally like three walls and a roller door in some cases, a lot of different businesses can use that property. So that means that it has a larger tenant pool, which is very, very important when you're trying to mitigate risk when you're investing in commercial real estate, you want a lot of tenants. You want a lot of people being able to use your type of property because if it does go vacant, and properties will go vacant uh, in a life cycle of a property, once you own it for five or 10 years, it will go vacant maybe once, maybe even twice, who knows, hopefully not. But you will have a turnover of tenants at some time. So, it's a lot better to have a very large pool of tenants that you're working with. So that actually puts demand on the asset. So demand is the first thing. So the next thing that industrial really has going for it is the lack of supply. Now that's pretty much Australia wide. There's a big shortage of industrial property right now. And there's a good reason for that. So particularly in like, you look at any kind of council across Australia, the council region is always geared towards residents, the residential population. So they, after they've done their zoning for residential land, then they have a slight little slither of that land for industrial. A council doesn't really wanna have their whole region zoned as industrial. So they just slice out the tiniest little bit compared to the residential population for industrial and commercial property. They're all, they can be different zones, right? So the way that it works is the industrial businesses, they want to get into that land or those premises so they can be near the large growing population of residents in that area. So if you think about from a business point of view, if there's just a small portion of industrial and a very large portion of residential land, they really wanna get into that highly dense, highly populated area. So like if they're a mechanic, a spray painter, a panel beater, um, a gym, like something like that, they wanna be near those customers because it increases their business. That's the idea. So they really wanna get in there. Let me in. Let me in. They'll be close to the population, as close to the action as possible, so they can improve their business, make more money. Makes sense, right? But there's not enough industrial land for everyone to be able to get in there. So there's a huge scarcity of this actual asset class for a lot of businesses that wanna get in there. So it really depends on the type of business, especially forward-facing businesses that have customers coming to them. These are the properties that really like to get into that industrial zone 
close to the residential population. And it's not like a council region after that industrial land is fully populated and has all of the tenancies built out, they're not gonna say, hey, let's knock down a few residential houses and get some more industrial land. It just doesn't happen. So there's a scarcity factor built in to the industrial sector, which is really nice, which actually pushes values up as well. So there's a lack of supply. These are the fundamentals that you want going into an investment asset. So because there's a high demand, because there's lots of tenants and lots of businesses that can utilize these properties, and because there's lack of supply, there's not enough to go around, everyone wants to be there. So people are willing to pay higher rent to be able to get in there. Shut up and take my money. So the next factor of the market conditions, the market fundamentals for industrial property, why it's so good in Australia, the best it's ever been, is that the rents are increasing. So increasing rents. Because there's huge demand, there's lack of supply, people are willing to pay more, and the rents are increasing, right? So this is particularly good if you're trying to buy industrial property, because the rent that's already like been negotiated could be very low below the market rate when you actually buy into it. So the very next market review, you might be able to just increase the rent to market and create huge value in the property. But I've already done a full video on that. If you wanna check that video out, go back and have a look at that. But these are the fundamentals, the basic fundamentals of a very, very good asset class right now. This is what you wanted to be investing into going forward. So because there's a huge demand, because there's a lack of supply, because there's increasing rents, then the value goes up because commercial property, it's valued on the income it produces. So if you increase the rent from the property, then the value follows, it has to. It's like the law of gravity. Hmm. So the next factor is the values are going up, which is really important, okay? So the easiest way to understand how to value a commercial property is like this. So if you bought a business and then you increase the revenue from that business and all things stayed the same, you would expect that that business would now be worth more, right? So commercial property is exactly the same. So if you buy a property and the rents increase, you've actually increased the value. That's literally the simplest way that I can explain it. You get me. You do get me. It's of paramount importance that you get me. You get me. You have me got. Good. So these four fundamentals for industrial property is the reason why industrial property is by far the best and safest sector to be investing in right now and going forward for the next 5, 10, 15 years. And I don't see that changing for a long time because of the way we're spending more money online with e-commerce. Money is easy to get with Afterpay. Amazon has got one click buys, so everyone's you know, going out there and buying things that they don't really need. And there are lots of people who are actually supplying things like that. So you know, they might sell things on eBay, they might need a, a small garage or an industrial property to, to store their goods for their distribution company. The way that our human society is working is all moving forward in the way that's making industrial property by far the best asset class in commercial real estate. The office sector is decimated. No one should be investing in office right now. Retail, you can invest in retail, but you really have to pick your spots, right? So we still do invest in some retail, but it has to be a destination type retail, plaza hopefully, it's like center with a complex, with a lot of, a lot of shops like say, you know, five to 10 shops. And that could be a neighborhood shopping center where you have say your IGA, your takeaway shops, your hairdressers, your nail salons, all of those kinds of industries where you actually have to go to the location to be able to get the service. It can't be outsourced online. So it's not like a dress shop. <laughs> um, that you literally like, I, I don't, a dress shop could literally go out of business the next day um, because people are selling dresses online. It just, it's so easy to ship, it's so easy to, uh, to store the goods. So you've got to really got to pick your spots in the retail sector because you can really get burnt. Commercial real estate 
is not like residential real estate. The reason why I say that is that if you make a mistake in residential property, time will actually right that wrong. But in commercial property, if you make a mistake, it could literally stay wrong forever. So if you buy an asset that's undesirable for a tenant today, and chances are in two, three, four, five, ten 10 years, it's still gonna be undesirable for a tenant. So that property could stay vacant forever. No! So you need to make sure that you're getting, you're buying into the right markets that have a really good tailwind behind them, like industrial. And industrial literally has record low vacancy rates right now. In places in Australia, it's 1% and under. So vacancy is also a factor. Low vacancy, I should write low here, low. Record low. So literally like record low vacancy, huge demand, lack of supply, increasing rents, increasing value, like what more do you want in a sector? That is literally the fundamentals of the like makings of the best sector in commercial real estate. And many property managers around Australia that we speak to, they literally have waiting lists of tenants for industrial property. So if you're investing into the right sector and they have a waiting list of tenants coming into that property, then the turnover of that property could be a week. It could be two weeks, not six months, not 12 months like office or retail right now. So just be careful on the sector that you're actually investing in. So now that you know that industrial property has the best fundamentals that it ever has in the history of industrial property, you might wanna know the cheapest and easiest and free way that you can add huge value to industrial property, literally hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars in value with just the stroke of a pen. You can check that video out just here and I'll catch you guys later.